Susan Blackwell backstage at Broadway Bears 19.0. Click it. I'm reporting live for Broadway.com on the interweb. Let's go squeeze some naked people. What did you? What are you serving us in the uh, Broadway Bears? Well, I'm serving it all, like appetizer, entree, dessert. There's even like a palate cleanser in there. You have done how many Broadway Bears? Okay, if I say you're gonna think I'm really old. How many? I think this is my 14th. But you started when you were three, to be fair. My mother used to bring me to rehearsals, yes. It's so dirty. What were you serving us at this Broadway Bears? Well, a lot of chocolate on my part. You, Marty? Vanilla all the way. <laughs> I'll be the strawberry word. What does that mean? I don't know. I am giving you the ringmaster. Is that in a particular um, skit? We're doing, I'm a part of the webcam skits, and I'm kind of like, the, uh, how do I put it? The people around me are my subconscious, and it's all about online love. It's really high concept here at the Broadway Bears 19.0 yeah, Click It. Can you just talk us through your costumes? I don't know, I, I'm I think I'm supposed to be an iPhone. Uh, I, there's an iPhone on my crotch, but personally I have a Blackberry, so I don't really know. I don't, I don't know anything about it. And I'm you? A, I'm a robot. You're rocking quite a stash tonight. I am. I grew it out for the show. What's that all about? What are you serving us tonight at Broadway Bears? I'm giving you a cross between 70s porn star, Brazilian Latin lover of some sort, and uh, a mailman. I'm the it's a charming combination. Got mail. Can we just get a shot? Just a shot? A full shot from head to toe? Just a full shot? Talk me through what you're serving us here tonight. Bark, water bird, uh, grass, I believe. You guys look amazing. Thanks. I'm so captivated by your sparkles. We haven't even put, our, put on our costumes yet. This is just how. If you need any help putting them on, I'll just I'll be here. Well, I'll just, <laughs> uh, or not, whatever. <laughs> my zipper's stuck. Can you help me with that? I can. You want to hold the microphone? Hi, I'm saying hi to my husband. I love you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever even seen a football game? <laughs> I've avoided them most of my life, yes. Uh, no. <laughs> Truth be told, what's your favorite football team? Don't say Patty Lapone. Jets. Jersey. Jersey Jets. <laughs> and yet he's never seen a football game. <laughs> Amazing. Hunter Bell, who's right there, wrote a character called Trash Widget, who is kind of this cyber and Margaret, who sort of helps Daniel Reichert navigate the internet. That sounds really exciting. I'm in a really fun number, and I've been working with such a great cast and choreographer, and obviously I have this really fun costume I get to wear. Um, so I'm just, I'm just excited to be out on the stage and doing it for a good cause. That's fantastic. I just want to say that a couple times during this interview, I've accidentally touched Whitney's boob. So I just want to be clear about that. You know, very few people get that, that chance. <laughs> I just did it again. I'm here with... A tall drink of water, Broadway Cheyenne Jackson. Mm -hmm. um, what are you doing here? Uh, it's a little. Uh, we're doing a little. I'm doing a little cameo at the end. I'm gonna come out and like, you know, say all the boring stuff after uh, Gavin shakes his ASS. Do we get to see any of your package? Any package mm -hmm. work? Any doodle work? Package is put away. It's a disappointment. It is. Besides making Whoopi, what is the craziest thing you've ever done naked? Anybody? When I was, let's see, maybe about 15 or 16, a long time ago. I took my clothes off at Founders Hall in Hershey and ran through and dodged the security guards with my friends. You streaked Founders Hall? Yeah, it's sort of, if you were from there, it would be a, a bigger deal, but I can't believe I'm admitting You kids been drinking tonight? Um, not yet. Oh, this is, yeah, this is happening. All my dreams are coming true. Somebody's on my titty. Yes, I'm sure. Gonna, yes, reporting live for Broadway.com. I'm Susan Blackwell. Which Broadway actor would you most like to see naked? Ooh, I mean, I think it would have been great to see Gordon McRae naked. But, you know, he really did more film roles. That's the kind of answer I'm looking for. Gordon McRae. No. Not Hugh Jackman. Gordon McRae. You know what he, Gordon McRae was singing about when he said, oh, what a beautiful morning. What Broadway star would you most like to see yeah. naked? 
Ooh, that's a good question. Everyone says Cheyenne Jackson and Gavin Creel, so I'm going to try to go with... Someone. Angela Lansbury? Well, I've already seen her naked. Scoop. <laughs> if you could see any Broadway star um, naked, who would you select? Well, Susan Mother Effing Blackwell. That's a good answer. <laughs> and I've seen her naked, and she's amazing. Um, but Cheyenne Jackson, who came oh, up yeah. to me earlier tonight. Beautiful. He would be a close second. It's a classic choice. It's Hugh Jackman, Hugh Jackman. Yeah, totally, totally. I'm totally with you. Yeah, You're yeah. the first person who said because it. Because he wears those shorts, you know, when he, you see those pictures of him on the beach, and he's got, it's kind of hanging low. He's got that, that whole, you know, Ken doll thing going on. Oh, I, you know, oh. But, you know, you kind of just Happy Father's just, Day, everybody. Ha Hi, Happy Hugh. Happy Father's Day. Love you. Call me. Be honest with me. Um, yes. Have you ever been touched a football? Yeah, during rehearsal. What's your favorite football there. team? Um, Don't say BB Newworth. The Portland Trail Blazers. I do have uh, nip, uh, pasties on that are colored. I just want to say, I'm sorry I stepped on you. Throughout sure. the course of this interview, I've been um, just keep bumping into Alice and Janney's titty. So that. I'm not going to show it to you. I may do it in the second show. But show just so you know, just America, just live vicariously through me for a moment. I'm just touching my, my, my left breast. Word. I got a two part question for you. All right. First part is. What makes Broadway Bears and BCEFA so special? Well, it's I guess it's using uh, the what, what Broadway has to offer and the hotness and I'm I'm actually I'm very distracted right now um, and smooshing it together with a great cause and having a great time. I just think it's an amazing organization that if we can help, I'm all for helping and if I can you know shake my cans and raise a little money, you should shake your cans. Nobody wants to see that, Heidi. I want to see your shaker cans. You've seen that, Heidi. This is the second part of my question. May I touch your butt? Uh, sure. I was going to ask if you wanted to make out. <laughs> I do. Do you want to go for it? Uh, uh, I don't want to mess up your lipstick. <laughs> yeah. I know when you really push Sutton Foster to the edge, it's all about the lipstick. Yeah, truly. You can touch my butt, though. All right. Here we go. Turn around. Oh. Get a shot of this. Yes. Just a full... It's firm. It feels it's not good. Not firm though. But and it felt really nice. Does it smell good? Just cardamom. Just a just a <laughs> hint. Just a hint. Can I touch your butt? Absolutely. Turn it around. Can we get a shot of that? Can we get a shot of that? And back up here. No, you you got to come back to me when I, all these are off, and you can touch it naturally, like the natural Word. part of it. Can I just say, just a hint of cinnamon? Can I touch your butt? Yes. yes. Fantastic. Turn it around. Turn it around. Turn it around. We can do it. We can do it. Um, so you just get a shot of that. We can do it through the pants. That's right. Gavin Creel. Broadway's Gavin Creel. Your Tony nominated ass. Yes. I have some of that. Um, it's firm. It's, it's me. God, nice. He's got that nice divot right there. He is. He clenched. I just don't have any fat down there. Um, oh. Just a, just a, just like, a, a just like a hint of like fresh laundry, just fresh laundry. You look incredibly buff. Can we just get a shot? Can we just get a shot? Ah, uh, see, no, I mean, I, I'm so shy about it right now. Just, Do you have any snacks on you? By here's the thing. Chance? No, here's the truth. Here's the God's honest truth for the viewers at home. He's got a delicious hot body, and he smells a little bit, and I'm not even joking, like cookies. It's because I was just eating a cookie. He was just eating cookies. Right after the show, I was like. I don't even care anymore. I want a cookie. Before that cookie, when's the last time you ate? Uh, Tuesday. That's what I'm talking about. Dedication to his craft and BCEFA. And how much money are we going to raise tonight? Probably like over $800,000. I'm going to say, uh, I think the final uh, tally was like two or three squillion. I think it was. <laughs> squillion? It might have been. Yeah. Are we in the squillions it now? It 1.8 squillion. <laughs> yeah. I'm here with Norm Lewis. Uh, this is the <laughs> after shot. Um, how did it go? Was it a freak out? Was it a grade A freak out? Besides making whoopee, what's the craziest thing you've ever done naked? <gasps> oh, I know. I know exactly. I, I drove naked in a convertible over Coldwater Canyon in Los Angeles. Alice and Jenny, ladies and gentlemen. How much money have you raised for Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS? I raised um, a little over $14,000. Is that true? What are you doing to raise those numbers? I went to Boca. 
What does that mean? That means I have a lot of rich Jewish friends that gave me money. And do you, what do you do for them to raise that money? Oh, well, you know. Do you sing for them? Sing a little song, do a little soft shoe. They love that in Boca. Well, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that perhaps we raise almost a million dollars. I know it's a, a bad economy, but I'm hoping that we do very well. I heard that uh, they may raise a squillion dollars. That's amazing. I was I was going for that, but I didn't want to like keep my fingers. No, you don't want to jinx breath. it. Yeah. So squillion. That's amazing. How'd your skit go? It went well. I say naughty words. Just give me a taste. I can't. No, they'll they'll bleep it out. I say and a lot, multiple times. Do that for us now. Just like Broadway sweetheart. I'm working on my image. Hi, mom. Did you show your titties? I did. Oh, you did! did. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, today is Father's Day. Does your dad know where you are? <laughs> no. <laughs> Should we call him? Yeah, let's call him. <laughs> no, he knows I'm dancing so somewhere. He knows I'm doing a benefit. So he's like, oh, have fun, darling. Down You're time. like, I'm doing a serious a point piece. Yeah, and he, and he goes, um, I hope somebody out there sees you and and uh, knows that that's the girl that they want. I was like, thanks, Dad. That is the girl that they want. Word. <laughs> Happy I Father's Day! It. Your daughter is half naked. <laughs> well, we've really learned a lot at tonight's Broadway Bears. What did you learn? How to lose my morals. What did you learn? Sometimes you have to bear it all to get some cash. I learned a lot of things, too. Norm Lewis smells like cinnamon. Gavin Creel smells like fresh laundry. And I've met a lot of new friends. I'd like to thank Broadway.com, and we'll see you next year at Broadway Bears.